Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is a short overview of Google Cloud VMware Engine. GCVE is deployed inside something called a private cloud. You manage your private cloud through the Google Cloud console. Each private cloud has its own vCenter server in its own management domain, and all nodes in a given private cloud reside in the same Google Cloud region. VMware Engine includes vSphere, vCenter, vSAN, NSXT, HCX, and corresponding tools, so it's fully compatible with all of your existing VMware tools, processes, and skills training. This compatibility enables your team to manage workloads without disrupting existing policies, such as those related to networking, security, data protection, and auditing. GCVE data center migrations reduce risk and cost, specifically because they take advantage of familiar VMware tools and skills. GCVE users can manage their VMware infrastructure using VMware ARIA operations for logs, or the Google Cloud Operations Agent as part of the Google Cloud Operations Suite. It is also worth mentioning that Google Cloud Operations Suite has a free tier available and deep integration for login, monitoring, tracing, and debugging all the Google Cloud products and services for organizations considering a move to a fully cloud native platform anytime in the future. For developers and organizations who wish to deploy solutions in an automated way, Google Cloud VMware Engine also supports Terraform for automating private clouds, clusters, and network management. These enhancements to the VMware Engine Terraform provider enables organizations to fully adopt infrastructure as code in their VMware Engine environment. With Google Cloud VMware Engine, you can set up existing third-party tools or products that require additional privileges while using something called a Solution User Account. The Solution User Account allows third-party tools such as backup, replication, management, and monitoring to be installed and configured on GCVE, even if they require root or admin privileges at the hypervisor level. In the next section, we will cover the compute nodes.